Hello everyone, Prof Mike Green here. I'm going to do a quick video talking about some of the weird terms you're seeing in Blackboard. Uh, right now I'm on the game manual page or the syllabus page and right up front that tells you uh, game. As I explain here, I love games, all different kinds of games. Doesn't mean I'm good at them, I just enjoy playing them. And I think uh, it's that we can take a lot of things that games do well, game mechanics, and things like that and apply them to education to make education more fun and more effective and so that's what I've done I've taken a lot of terminology and a lot of concepts from games and applied them to the course and I've laid out the terminology here and you can kind of get a feel for what means what after a week or two I think you'll kind of get used to what I'm calling things um, it's not you know that big a deal for the most part uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the world map this is where the content of the course is. All of the lore, that's the content, all the quests, that's homework, things like that, and the uh, gear checks, those are quizzes. Everything, projects, exams, everything is in here. And then what I call it, you know, you can kind of translate it by going back to the game manual. You'll notice I only have one zone here. Uh, and if I click in here, there's a, there's a little bit of lore, there's a video to watch, there's a quest, a survey that I need you to take and a gear check, a really short quiz that uh, you take. And, and completing those quests and the gear check unlock new zones. So if I turn edit mode on so that this is what I see as the instructor, you can see there's actually about 50 zones uh, that you don't see yet. There's about 50 total in this course, a little less. And uh, completing the quests in one zone unlocks new zones. So after you complete zone one, you'll notice I think you have up to zone nine will be unlocked. That allows you to kind of binge learn. If you want to Sunday afternoon do a bunch of work, you can do it that way. What I also do is each week, uh, if you haven't completed, even if you haven't completed the zone requirements, I unlock some new zones, right? That helps keep you on track. So each week you're going to see new content. Um, Usually on Sunday or Monday is when I unlock new content because it gives you a full week uh, and because homework is due on Monday nights. So best practice is to always check Blackboard at least two or three times. This is a summer course, so it's 10 weeks. It's shorter than normal and it's online. So I recommend four or five times a week checking Blackboard, checking announcements, making sure that you've done all of the different zone quests. Um, that you need to take care of. Come back to the game manual. And the last thing I'll talk about quickly is grading. I flip grading on its head. Instead of you starting with 100 and getting beat down with every assignment until you end up with a C for the semester, uh, you start with a zero, you start with an F. Everybody starts with a zero. And everything you do, every quest, every gear check, every you know, legendary quest, everything gains you more experience points, just like a game. Right. Every little thing you do adds up towards your total, and at the end of the semester, your total is what you get for your final grade. So I do use the standard 10-point grading scale, a 90 is an A at the end of the semester, an 80 is a B. And to help translate that, I use a 1,000-point scale in Blackboard. So 1,000 is a perfect, 900 to 1,000 is an A, 800 to 900 is a, is a B, um, and so on and so forth. And you can see that calculated here. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me using the methods uh, laid out under the instructor information or in the video under announcements. I'm happy to answer any of them. Um, and welcome to 119.